What is going on guys? It's me again, your friend Scott or Mr. CMT and welcome back to my channel. How do you like your salsa? Spicy or really fiery hot? Fiery Style Southwestern Grill has opened its newest branch in the heart of Alabang. The latest addition to the hangout joint in one of the most affluent areas of Metro Manila. With it now having 11 branches, Mr. Mon Bautista decided to join the team of Mr. Matt Tay, who was the hands-on owner of the growing family of Fiery Style. Meeting these big bosses was an honor and I cannot believe how down-to-earth they are. A serious person who has visited both places, Texas and Mexico, I can definitely tell that Fiery Style met my expectations when it comes to Tex-Mex food and delicacy. From the nachos to the sauce that they use reminds me of being in Texas or in Mexico and I am very critical with Mexican cuisine. For their service, they serve our group with such tremendous food that we almost gave up and packed our stuff and left. But don't get me wrong, for the service was really, really amazing. That really sold me besides, of course, the food and the drinks, which are as authentic as they get. The servers are very attentive and will go out their way to check in with you just in case you might need something. This is one thing that made me feel like I'm being served like in the US. They gave us something to drink right away, which is one thing I always look for when I go out to eat. And they did not fail there. They serve us nachos, quesadillas, chicken wings, and tacos. And of course, one way to check the authenticity of a Tex-Mex restaurant is to try their tacos. This is why I asked them to serve me tacos. For the food, the food was awesome. They also serve as the galleons. At first, I was curious why they call it galleons and found out that it was served in a boat-like serving plates, which adds to the flair of Mexico, of course. The chicken and the rib combo and the Ultimo Seafood Galleon were outstanding. I am critical of food touching other food, so I thought I would not enjoy it. However, I was impressed with how they cook and plated the food. In Texas and in Mexico, they love mixing their food like salad. It did not ruin the flavor of ribs and chicken. I am just saying this because there are very picky eaters out there who, like me, like to taste food separately. I am normally not a steak person, but their grilled eyed rib steak, oh my god, I don't know what happened. If it was a crime, I would have been convicted of gluttony. I can't believe that I devoured the plate after my group finished taking photos of the said steak. You can order drinks and spirits a la Mexico, of course. I enjoyed their mojito lychee and tasted the frozen margarita. The mojito was suggested by one of the staff, Francis, and he was absolutely right. It was really good. I would definitely recommend it. Do not, as I say, never miss their fiery nachos. It was definitely the bomb. No matter what toppings you ask for, it will be a hit as it was for my group. It was served neatly stacked with freshly cooked nachos with a dramatic entrance of a metallic container. And it slowly reveals itself with the awesome goodies of nachos and toppings of cheese, jalapeno, salsa, and beef. And for the ambience, the exterior of the restaurant was really noticeable. However, they need more signage to make the name more visible to people searching for the place. The interior had a feel of a modern Texas Mexican. It seems more of a hangout place for me, like an after office hours place to chill and relax. However, they are also a family-oriented restaurant because of its traditional and rustic style that is playful and it crosses the border of Americans and Mexicans, thereby making it appealing to all members of the family. Did I mention that they serve cocktails, beers, and spirit that you can actually order and enjoy while listening to the band? As for my recommendation, one spoon not coming back. Five spoons, excellent. For the value, I'm giving it a five spoons. Two to three visits will not break your bank. For the food, five spoons, Tex-Mex in the Philippines. For the service, five spoons, prepare for a big fat tip, please. 
For the ambience, four spoons. Should have been five, but I really don't like noisy places. For location, three spoons for someone from northeastern side of the metro. But I bet it will be five spoons for people from the south. For the overall experience, I'm giving it four spoons and a teaspoon for me. It is worth coming back and it is highly recommended. So there you go guys, this is my first impression about Fiery Style Southwestern Flaming Grill. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on all my social media accounts. And once again, this is Scott and you are watching Mr. CMP.